Okay, so I've got maybe one more map in me. We've got Before Time? Eh, I don't know. Let's go Cheap Construction or Sector L. Let's do Sector L. It's right in the middle of this. I don't know. Oh boy, what the hell is this? It's Sector L, apparently. Time, hmm. So, we've got a Skimmer Factory, a Blob Nest, emitters, a lot of trees, a Spore Launcher. It looks very much like this is their side, this is mine, and then the rest is just going to be... I see. The rest of this is going to be one hell of a battlefield. I will say, this looks bad. I don't see any mining points either. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna have to slug this. Wait, I should not have done that. Uh, let's see. Nope, too late. Let's just do a, a quick restart. Put it into the corner, that way I can get the, uh, the factories down. Okay. So my biggest issue... ...with much of this... Ooh. Let's just have that be the set grid. Biggest issue with most of this is that we've... This is going to suck. Holding this is going to be hard. That's a lot of low ground. So... That's a good point. Yeah, there's a lot of lowland spots that I might specifically have to kind of avoid. Okay. Because, yeah, I've got a lot of upper areas that I could potentially put some defenses down. If I can hold them. It's the holding them that's always the spook. Okay, I'm going to try and do that. It's kind of own part of this section. And hold a line. If actually the sector L spot here is kind of like a hint for like hold this area. I'm gonna keep a backup set there. Okay. Um Gonna get a couple of snipers. They were actually generating quite a lot, which is good. Having greenery to kind of fall back on is huge. I don't know why I'm even trying to grid at this point. This map is too much of an immediate emergency for me to think about uh, aesthetics like that.
Okay, hold up. Let's go back over here. That was a... That was bad. Yeah, because we want this to, to interweave as best as possible. Go over here. Get some basic guns. It doesn't have to be much. It just has to be enough to keep the creep off. Okay. We're going to keep rushing up this hill. Because I bet if I take this hill, we're good. Thing is, we're running very low on time. figured it, that was going to happen. Um, I'm not gonna, necessarily going to be able to stop this, but what I can do is pull a spare gun. It is currently not immediately in use. Okay, put a couple up there. Okay, so that didn't spread too bad. Which is good. So let's probably put missile launchers kind of just down the line. Okay, these are good. Move this guy back. And this guy back. And we're gonna need more just basic towers. That there, okay. So, Looks like I have a number of snipers. I have a number of missile launchers. This is actually working weirdly well. Like, I was expecting a little bit more immediate emergency out of that. But I think I might have just pulled it off faster than I expected. Uh, it's, I'm just going to put a turp up there. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, he had his one one shot for a bad salvo. But I think we're fine after this. I'm still going to pull this slightly paranoid card and just kind of pepper the area with random missile launchers. Just in case. Because they always, they always like to just leave uh, stinky little presents for me where I least expect it. Why have I not covered this area yet? Equal parts apathy and it wasn't important. Okay. We are good. Huge mess, but we're good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put put down some really sloppy towers. Give me some basic coverage. Drop that over there. We've got this area kinda handled. Okay. So I think now that we've got that, let's let's start getting the pylon network up. what I'd like to do is pylon up here. So if I can get a sniper rifle and a missile launcher just generally up here. A 
we can just kind of own this hill. We're good. Perfect. I'm so glad when the missile launcher uh, knocks those out of the sky. It doesn't actually... Uh, let's see. When it knocks those out of the sky, it doesn't actually rain any uh, creep down. That could get really destructive really fast if that happened, and I would be a sad puppy. Okay, one immediate problem. Yeah, Sniper kind of screwed itself over. I hate it, hate it when this happens. I should have done Sniper last, but I wasn't thinking. It's fine. We had two hill hilltops to rely on. Okay, so we've got this basin. It exists. I'll put that there, just in case. Okay, where'd that terp go? Terp's here. I know there's one more buried somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Uh, let's see, so how do we want to handle this one? Oh, there it is. I'll just make another terp. Cheaper than trying to get me to remember. Uh, let's see. There we go. So next up, special M Rift. See if we can squeeze this in closer. Not that I think travel times are a particularly big deal. Okay, we got tons of that. The thing I'm most proud of... Ooh. The, the thing I'm most proud of is that the creep hasn't really gotten to this spot yet. Which is kind of through no fault of my own. I have not done a very good job of pushing them back around here. I just kind of set this area and then forgot about it. So much of my strategy does in fact revolve around that. It bad. Okay, so I'm just going to go a bit snipe happy here. So I can always take out those skimmers. We got a couple of snipers covering the entire area. But yeah, what we want to do is avoid letting it get to that stash. Oh, there's another one there. Um, You know what? Back here... Grab Porter. Never actually did get the urn, urn portal down. I guess I'll just put it over here. So what I'm thinking is... Set that up there. Oh, shoot. I don't have a, any sniper rifles or missile launchers up in this area. That's an oversight. Not a big one. Not a particularly dangerous one, but it is an oversight. Okay. Grab a terp. Go here. Terraform. Copy that. We're just going to extend over to the skimmer factor and see if we can delete it. Doesn't the Moonrock grounds consume creep to a point? I think it does, yeah. That it would have had to flow over this entire thing for it really to reach this point. Either that or this is just kind of a spook. I don't actually remember. Oh, that sucks. Let's do that again, once more with passion. Yeah, I skipped out on having the sniper up here. And then it turns out we needed it. Of course we needed it. We might honestly want to have a rage sniper up here. Okay, we didn't lose the turp at least. 
There we go. Hey, we can go up to four times speed here. Mortar, mortar, mortar. And a sniper. There. That way they can start bullying this area. And that sniper can kind of take care of them. What's the rage sniper doing here? Eh, well enough. Oh, that wrecked my, uh... That re wrecked my Amrift. Okay, that's... That stinks a little harder. Okay. Well, this way we can at least uh, get rid of the skimmer factory. Though... I think the skimmer factory is just totally, like, totally inactive anyway. I think it straight up needs digitalis to actually go anywhere, and we don't, we don't have any digitalis. There's none to worry about. Okay, another sniper, and we're just gonna get another missile launcher. Worst comes to worst, it just kind of sits around and does whatever. Okay, how we doing? So, this is the next big frontier. Uh, I'm just... You know what? I'm just gonna build new turrets. Reason why? Whenever I start moving around the turrets that I already have, uh, as like a time-saving measure, which is like almost not a time-saving me measure, I always end up uh, leaving myself critically open to some kind of riposte. And it always goes bad for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can surround this thing. Okay, let's go back in here. Let's get an M rift on top of this mountain. We'll pretty much we pretty much never have to worry about it going down. And then some just generally convenient looking pylons. Especially right here. Yeah. That way we don't have to worry about that. Alright. So we've reclaimed. I could leave, but why would I do that? I love the fact that it does give me the option to just bail when I uh whenever. Never makes a whole lot of sense to me. But it's kind of neat neat that I can. You know it would be a really funny funny totally worthless strategy someday. That was actually kind of good timing there. Uh covering every square inch of the map in a giant grid of mortars eh, like alternating mortars and turrets. Oh. Okay, so we might want some snipers up in here. before that continue uh, presents itself as more of a problem. Okay, and how, how are we doing on juice? We're doing okay on juice. Maybe I go more excessive here anyway, just because. Now we're sufficiently juice. Excessive, maybe but sufficiently juice. Okay. Move these here. This is good. Oh, right. We are once again not collecting any green R. We should work on that. Where, Where is it here? Okay, we got any others? No. The other to potentially consider is I don't think we're collecting a or we're not really using any of our blue eye. Oh, but we barely have any. Maybe if we had more, but I 
it's such a yeah, it's such a piddly amount. It's not worth my time. Okay. Life is good. Oh. Never actually built that tower. There we go. So back in here, get an nullifier down. Wait, no more of those. Is that the only slug? Yeah, that's the only thing prepping slugs. He had no more slugs, far less problems. Uh, okay. Let's let's get silly here. Because I see a shit ton of eggs. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't really want to deal with that. So let's not. Disregard egg. More cannon. Okay, so this is... Going fairly well. Uh... Probably get some mortars, just considering the height advantage. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to point this sniper at this mountain, take care of all the eggs, and then hopefully make my way up to that spore launcher. Okay, so that got hairy, but once again, having like a half billion cannons just kind of in the area really does make it a little easier. Okay, weapon, nullifier. So ho hope that's good enough. I guess I could very easily just put a shield next to it. It should be all of those. Gosh, this map is a horrible mess. It's a horrible, but functional mess. Okay, set that there. How we doing? Did Wander finish Subnautica? Yup! Yeah, we were, we were right at the end, more or less, yesterday. Uh, but with, like, a little bit left to go. And came back today. Finished it off. Okay, so how the hell am I going to get to the top of this thing? Honestly, considering how much energy generation I have, maybe we look into air. If I can find a place that is suitable for runway, this... It's a lot of lowland, but it's not a lot of... lane location. No, I guess this isn't so bad. It's junky. But I can put uh, bomber platforms on both of these. Hell, if I want to be silly, let's just get an M rift right next to this. Be an M rift right there. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta punch that down hard. Create squad, and get him. I miss the old, the old fighter planes. But I will grant this is kicking ass. 
We obviously still have the eggs to contend with. Uh, whoosh. Jeez, okay. Let's grab the three of these. Terraform, height 20, size 2. Yeah, getting up close to and dealing with spore launchers is always kind of the... I would say it's probably one of the biggest difficulties I kind of run into in this game. That's not necessarily the hardest part of it, but it often it often is just difficult to get close to them. Because I, I, I think originally they didn't spawn creep on their own. But now they just kind of passively do. Okay. Gosh, what is with today and dogs? It's like everybody everybody is out and everybody's dog is fighting. I get it. More terps. Gosh, the fact that th this guy is still putting out this amount of creep right now is just wild. Oh, right. That's the other thing. Uh... The interesting thing is, we actually have managed to put quite the dent in him. I might be able to just use this as a back route. Uh, never mind. It's worth a shot. Okay. More terps. When in doubt, even more terps. Because, yeah, otherwise, this just takes forever. Oh, look at that speed go. Boosh. Alright. Pylon, pylon. Okay, there you are. Put that there. Give it the coverage it, it needs. It deserves. Okay, next up, sprayers. And then one shield. And then a nullifier. Okay, there we go. Now, when this thing floods, it just dumps into the basin, and everything else just gets skunked as a result. Let's turn this to always on. Yep. Well, it's fine. Oh, we have not activated a totem yet. Oh. This one. The one that I was hoping would be within range of my pylons, but then they blew up the pylon. It's fine. Alright. I might end up having more time than I thought today. We will see. That was a good map. Not too bad. I, I'm looking forward to getting to the user-generated ones. I'm I'm liking the span experiments just because they've got some character to them. Uh, but I bet, I bet there's some absolutely heinous handmade ones that we can look at. I wonder if there's a way to search by... Ah, yeah, favorites. Apply filters? Oh, I see. These... No, these are the ones that I downloaded. Is there a way to sort them by everybody else's downloads? Oh, thumbs. Here we go. Play as Creeper is back. And then a whole bunch of other ones. I'm curious about this. We will have to see. Yeah, try one of the FPS ones. Uh, I'll get there. I really want to finish the Span, span Experiments just because...